Hi, I'm Jordan Clausen. The song is called Good Heart's Law. For here, here. And here. <laughs> Clausen. I'm Jocelyn Price. Um, and we're here for here, here. And here? <laughs> <laughs> here, here, and here. Yeah. Um, I got started playing indie, bad indie pop songs um, with a band in, in the suburbs of Vancouver. Uh, we were called Sabrosa. Jocelyn played in a band in Kelowna called Tree Light Room. And then when I started my project, we had both around the same time moved to Vancouver and I asked her to, to join the band. I, I don't know, I guess, um, like, historically, I grew up listening to, like, like 90s New Age music, so, like, Enya, 
um, my mom was really into ABBA, so they're like pop stuff, and then I kind of fell in love with folk music when I was uh, like in high school. So, and then Sufjan Stevens, uh, I, I read Nick Drake, like more kind of classically based folk, I guess. I think just seeing other art that is really well done and really, um, really intentional and that moves me, that's probably the most inspiring. Dream, what do you think, Joss? Uh, well, sometimes we make this joke about this festival called Cryfest, and it would just be this very emotionally in tune music festival <laughs> yeah. where people just talk about their feelings and really like uh, thought provoking emotion evoking bands like who were some that we had listed like yeah. The National Daughter Joanna Newsom, Joanna Newsom but you would only, they, would only all, they would all play and we would also play and you'd only be allowed to wave your arms in the air like you just don't care if you are letting go of something significant from your past. past. <laughs> That's really lame. That's probably not for real. Um, dream gig, gig actually though, um, I really love the Orpheum in Vancouver. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be amazing. Huh. British, British Columbia, obviously. I like BC a lot. Um, there's... I really like my neighborhood and in, in Vancouver, it's called Mount Pleasant. It's probably my favorite place in the world. I don't know if it's like the most, I don't think it's the most, it's beautiful, but it's not the most beautiful place in the world, but it's my favorite place. Probably. Home. Home. That's so where nice. the heart is. <laughs> I think that, I was saying to somebody the other day, Toronto is just like, there's, it's like an exciting place to be. There's like, lot, there's lots happening, there's lots of events and, and important people. It's like a place of influence, and um, so yeah, I guess just like the the vibe, the the kind of flow, the opportunities. That's what's exciting to me, or that's what I love about Toronto. Our band also really likes to drink tasty craft beers, and we get a lot of West Coast beers in Vancouver. But it's nice to come. We really like coming here and getting some East Coast. Stuff that we don't really get our hands on yeah. in Vancouver. <laughs> yeah. Good question. Um, I mean, lots of reasons. I think I think it's a very I think it's kind of a jarring word. I don't think it's a very popular word. Um, I've been really interested in like religious imagery, and the record is kind of about turning away from ugly things and turning towards beautiful things. And so that's actually what repentance means. In, in historically and uh, yeah I, I it's kind of about spring too like the, the idea of like the land repenting and flourishing again so um, well uh, I had a friend who was getting married he's a minister so he asked me to write it from this this Jewish um, scripture scriptural book called Song of Songs so I wrote that and um, I just, I was trying to think of a title and I came across this one line that was Strengthen Me With Raisins and I thought it was just the weirdest thing that you could, because it's like supposed to be like a romantic poetry book, but like I don't, I can't understand like, it's just so out of my realm to, 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 to tell someone like Strengthen Me With Raisins, that that would be like a romantic thing to say. So I just kind of, I almost titled it that kind of a little bit, maybe a little bit funny. I don't know, I, the song's kind of serious so I wanted to make it, to lighten it up a little bit or something. Well, I'm kind of a coffee snob. He is a huge coffee snob. So I'm, kind of. I'm probably like going like, does it smell like good beans? Um, like, have they over, are they over roasted? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I, no, but also I think just like a general atmosphere. Like, is it well designed? Or is like, have you ever seen that Portlandia episode where they like talk about like good coffee, bad art? It's like this this art shop that just specializes in selling bad art to coffee shops because there's so many coffee shops with such bad art. Yeah. So when I walk into a coffee shop and I look and I think, wow, great art, well designed, those are things that I, <laughs> that I like. So superhero. Um, Peter Parker. 
<laughs> Peter Parker. Okay, ice cream flavor. Uh, mint chocolate chip. And I, that, that's the first thing I thought of because I knew that that's what Jordan was using. City. Toronto. <laughs> we're here, we're looking at the city. Okay. Yeah. Dinosaur. T-Rex. Um, oh yeah, but then you change it. Uh, yeah. uh, maybe a Plathiosaur. Yeah, right, that's the first thing you thought That of. is what I thought of. I have a shirt that says Plathiosaur. Okay. Okay, song. Um, We've overthought it. Um, um, no, uh, falsetto. Who's that by? Song? What? Who's that song by? Falsetto. Were you supposed to name a song? A song. <laughs> name a song? Yeah. Uh, you said song and I just, the first, the first word. Oh, the first, okay, that's fair. Yeah.